All right, so this is day five. If you can't tell by my face um, and aunt's face, it's a little wet outside. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, so I'm hoping that I can show something else. So this may be a video that we may make an addendum to later. But uh, so we start out in Tuolumne Meadows. We went up Lyle Canyon, which is just beautiful because you have Lyle Creek going through there. And then you got this just awe-inspiring view of Lyle Mountain with its glacier, which um, in the next hundred years, yeah, they say it's going to disappear. So get your views in while you can. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, then the rain started coming in. And the last couple of days we've had rain, but it's only lasted, I don't know, maybe two minutes. But Bill made the correct assumption that... Yeah, this is one of those rainstorms that just keeps on coming. So we're trying to uh, dry off here. And uh, we know that the rain will stop by tomorrow, that's for sure. But uh, we were hoping that it would stop within an hour so we could at least dry off. Um, we had to cut a mile short today, so we did about nine miles. Um, was really enjoying that uphill there for a bit. Um, we got some just glorious views. I know On was not feeling it. Um, yeah, it was fine. It was like walking on a flat. Oh well, it's a, yeah, all day, a, and then it was like going uphill, and I was like, oh, okay, it's cool. And it started raining, <laughs> and then it started hailing, and I'm like, okay. yeah, we got some. We got a little bit. Uh, Maybe not. <laughs> we got pea-sized hail and uh, some lightning that definitely made us rethink about going any higher. Um, I think right now we're probably, uh, probably, we're probably around 10,000 feet, maybe 9,500. Um, and yeah, I mean, that just means more tomorrow that just solidifies that we're going to be at a thousand island, but that all comes down to whether or not this rain stops. I mean, you can just see, you can hear, and I was hoping that you could hear some thunder and lightning, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got it on my GoPro. You got, yes, Owen got it on her GoPro, so maybe she'll post it at some point. Um, but I mean, you could just look. It's uh, All of our stuff is kind of in disarray. We barely got the tent up in time. I'm actually kind of wet right now. Like, different parts of me are wet. <laughs> the unmentionable parts. Mm, well. um, <laughs> so, yeah, we're in good spirits. It's, it's this year in Nevada. It's a drought year. Though it's surprising how much rain that we've had this summer. So, uh... Yeah, we'll see if there's going to be an addendum. So day five, uh, about nine miles from Tuolumne Meadows to, I guess, a ridge above Lyle Canyon, below Mount Lyle and Lyle Gr Glacier, along Lyle Creek. Lyle seems to be a common theme here. All right. Adios. All right, so here's part two of day five. So, um, Rain finally stopped, thank God. Um, it's freaking cold. I think a cold front came through here because up on the mountains, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can pull it up. The mountains behind me, above probably 10,000, maybe 11,000 feet, got snow. So snow is always possible this time of year. Um, my stuff is starting to dry out, but I did kind of want to show y'all um, what... I mean, what it looks like here, because this is Lyle Creek. Um, it's just beautiful. Uh, it looks like there's a watering, water monitoring station also. Let me see if I can show you guys what it looks like. Um, but this is probably for the National Park Service uh, to figure out what's the water flow like, because this, is, this water is part of the Tuolumne River watershed, which fall, uh, flows to San Francisco, or flows to Hetch Hetchy Reservoir, which is San Francisco's water source. So over there, uh, let's see, where is it? So there, right over there, right there is a solar panel. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. And then uh, just to show everybody what it looks like, um, everybody decided that this would be the place to um, uh, basically seek shelter because that rainstorm was a doozy. So we actually have a lot of other people. This is like a mini tent city. Um, we decided that we are going to stop for the day here. So we're a mile and a half short, which is really not that big of a deal um, because it's just uphill. We only have about a thousand feet, more, uh, about 1500 feet more to go. Uh, let's see if I can show 
you guys the other stuff. We have about 1,500 feet more to go, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's looking. Oh, and uh, maybe like two or three miles, I think. Uh, yeah, we are using PCT's mile, mile and a half. So there's this really cool bridge right over here. And it's impressive because when you're all the way out here, oh, come on, you, this thing won't focus. I guess I'm going to have to go all the way over there. When you think about it, I mean, we're probably about eight or nine miles away from the nearest road. And so when you see like this bridge here, it's pretty impressive feat of engineering because it's a combination of people lugging up the tools and also using the tool, uh, using the resources available here. So this is the bridge right there. So yeah, um, that's the second one that we've crossed today. Uh, we'll be probably crossing some others tomorrow. Um, our goal is to get to Thousand Island Lake which is in the John Muir Wilderness. So this will be our last night in Yosemite. So we're making progress. We're making progress. Thank you for listening.